it is 10 minutes to 3. BBC Radio Nottingham. Uh, always like to keep you right up to date with live entertainment across Nottingham. So we live in a great place, don't we? You know, uh, not just Nottingham, but, you know, Mansfield, Newark. We have some fantastic shows that come to these places. Well worth uh, a watch, well worth going to. And if you don't support these things, you can leave them. So I always like to keep you up to date with what's going on. Um, there's a show called Unexpected Twist which is coming to the Theatre Royal next week. It's part of a national tour, and it's a retelling of a very well-known story, a story that you will know, even if you've never read the book, the story of Oliver Twist, Charles Dickens' classic. Uh, and um, it's, um, it's a retelling that's been done uh, by one of the best-loved figures in the, the world of children's books, and that is Michael Rosen. Yeah, the man behind me going on a bear hunt. Uh, well, Conrad Murray has led the BAC Beatbox Academy for the last decade, innovating and pioneering hip-hop and beatbox theatre. He's also the musical director of Unexpected Twist. Have a listen to this. Fresh off. I can take the fresh off. Show me your way, then I'll follow your left. Show me your trick. Show me your tip. Ready to follow all of your hits. I'm ready for the game. Remember my name. Tell me the rules, then I'll take in my name. Because the pressure. Yeah, good afternoon. How's it going, man? <laughs> oh, great. Really good. Yeah, I love the sound of this. I really do. So is, is there any music, uh, musical instruments in it at all? Or is it just all about the sound of the human voice? Yeah, no, no. Everything's there. 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 Uh, to tell our story and it's kind of like how she gets drawn into kind of like county lines kind of gangs and stuff a bit like how fagan in the story and then we've got all these kind of songs to, with the lyrics so people can like uh, hear it through through songs basically through rapping and through singing and we've got some sick kind of rappers in there we've got um nadine johnson glitch and kate uh, donachi so like you you kind of you hear it through these sick kind of spitting gr grind bars and also some great kind of ballads in that yeah I mean, it is a musical, there's no doubt that it's a musical, but it's just that it's done in a different way. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a modern, it's a modern British musical and only the way that we can do it using kind of like the talent that we have here, you know, because like grime has kind of taken over, taken over the globe, you know, we, we're kind of exporting our style abroad now. So to me, musicals should be reflecting of the music of now. We don't need to kind of keep pastiching it. So we, we want to, you know, we've seen how kind of American musicals have kind of, blown up and taken over around the world and they're sick but you know we're the, we're, the, we're the country of you know musical revolutions ourselves you know the country of the Beatles and things like that so now we've got Stormzy and we've got Graham and Trap so why not kind of like do it in our own way and we've got a, we've got an amazing singer Drew Hilton she's a sick 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 solo singer so it's not just about you know just the rap which is top top never next level top tier but it's actually the, the singing and the musicality in the car in the cast and the team is next level. We want people to see that the modern, new British musical is something to, you know, kind of want to go and see, and we're taking it around the country, getting people excited. And, and are you able to find enough talented people to do it? Yeah, you know, I, mean, I mean, imagine if you're doing a musical, for instance, and you need someone who plays a trumpet. Well, there's loads of people who play the trumpet out there, but are there enough people who do top quality beatboxing to be able to draw on them for, for this show? Well, we've actually got three of the best in the in the country and maybe the world in it so apollo kate and glitch but what, what we saw about 500 people and it might be more that's just kind of like through the tapes and the things that i saw but um yes, we saw a lot of people but what, what i do is i, I run because i run the beatbox academy we put all the cars through boot camp so i think we, we, we've got to see that they have some musicality the timing the pitch and the kind of excitement to kind of want to be part of someone like this because if you hear beatboxing and rapping and singing and you and you you think it's quite kind of weird, then it's not for you. But if you're a performer and a musician and you get excited, then you can we you know we, and you're a good good actor, good singer, we bring those people on board and I kind of put them through boot camp because um, you know it's, it's got to be intense and they've got to be show ready and they've got to be like world class ready. And I think the mixture of having me there and also some performers who I've already worked with who are next level, it kind of it upskills everyone in the cast. And I think people will be 
will be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Conrad, it's great to talk to you. Thanks for lifting the lid on how you put this whole thing together and, and how it sounds. And if you want to experience it for yourself, Unexpected Twist is at the Theatre Royal in Nottingham from Tuesday. You're with BBC Radio Nottingham. It is five minutes to three. Just before 